If you're wondering what's changed with 4777 Part 1 2024 edition, well, quite a lot, but not the world has changed. There's been some improvements. And the big headline number is, we can finally go to 1,000 volts on domestic systems. Yep, 1,000 volts on domestic system. 5033 permitted it, but then the old 4777 didn't. The new 4777 does. So that's number one. Number two, if you do commercial systems, big systems, often once you get to 30 kVA, your DNSP wants you to put in this really expensive box, basically network protection equipment, and uh, <laughs> that's tens of thousands of dollars for no benefit to the customer. So now that limit, or that trigger point, has been raised to 200 kVA. Now of course you've got to still go through the application process with your DNSP, but fingers crossed that they'll move up to 200 kVA, especially when they've got strong network connections. And the third point is we're changing a lot of the names for supply. Part of that is to line up with uh, the terms used in ASN ZS3000, things like alternative supply. Uh, but we've now got, I think, five or six. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of them. So we've got supplementary supply, which is replacing the old solar inverter uh, supply name. We've got still grid supply. We've got independent supply. We've got island supply and uh, alternative supply. So there you go, there's a whole bunch of them. I'll put them on the screen. I have still have trouble remembering them all. And uh, that's just gonna mean all our labels change. So yeah, 4777 part one has been updated. And also part two, now part two has been amended uh, so that all the terminology lines up with part one now. We don't have a, a silly mismatch of the inverter test standard with the installation standard. So there you go. Uh, 4777 part one is here and life is good. <laughs>